If we were to flesh this out into a paragraph of how it would sound, it wouldn't sound too bad. Johnny's very active. He never stops moving. He gets distracted by any little noise. He's got the attention span of a flea. Often he acts before he thinks. His sister Jill is often in a fog. Sometimes she's just so spaced. I really doubt that that description dragged many of you out on a, on a rainy Tuesday night. Here's a more accurate description that Mark would, would get a, uh, a, a <laughs> I can't take it anymore. We scream all morning to get out of the house. Homework takes hours. If I don't help him with his work, he's so disorganized that he'll never do well. If I do help him, he screams at me. Since he never finishes anything, everyone thinks he doesn't care. No matter how much we beg or punish, he keeps doing the same stupid things over and over again. He never considers the consequences of his actions. He doesn't seem to care if they hurt me. It's so easy for him to get overwhelmed. Sometimes he just wants to turn the noise off. He's so inflexible and then blows up over anything. He gets me so angry that I scream back, which makes everything even worse. Now that he's getting older, the lies and the cursing are getting worse too. I know he has trouble paying attention. He's been diagnosed with that ADHD thing. He's got that inattention problem. Okay, but why does he have all these other problems as well? And what I want to point out is that for many kids with ADHD, this is not, these are not also ran symptoms. It's just <clears throat> defining ADD as being about short attention span. It's just a very incomplete way. Uh, of defining it. And this is a much more typical child with ADHD. So the point is, and these pictures are from, uh, I commissioned from, uh, for the book, uh, ADHD Living Without Breaks. Okay, this is the classic triad of inattention plus or minus impulsivity and hyperactivity. If that's all you're addressing with your doctor or your therapist, okay, you're missing, you're hitting just the tip of the iceberg. Okay? You're missing all these other executive functions that we're going to talk about. Inhibition, initiation, self-talk, working memory, foresight, hindsight, organization, shifting agenda. You're missing a huge number of other co-occurring problems that tend to go along. Learning disabilities, oppositional defiance. And we're going to talk about each of these briefly. And then you're missing the family issues. So if all you're talking about, how's his attention span? If that's what the conversation's about, you're missing almost everything. It's kind of like the psychiatry hotline. Hi, you've reached the psychiatry hotline. If you have OCD, please keep pressing number two. <laughs> if you have schizophrenia, press two and four. If you're paranoid, don't bother pressing anything. We already know where you live. <laughs> if you're depressed, don't bother pressing anything either, because we're not going to pick up anyhow. And if you have ADHD, press the shiniest button.